Trick or treat, DJ, get back to work. Really thought that would work. Dear Great Diesel, how have you been? Did you have a good summer? I know that people say I'm silly for writing to you, but I think it's because Santa has gotten so much more publicity. DJ, what are you doing? Oh, I'm writing my letter to the Great Diesel. What, what is the Great Diesel? What, oh, what well, the Great Diesel is awesome. Every Halloween time, what happens is the Great Diesel comes to a rail yard that's full of sincerity and gives lots of trains to those who are waiting. What is sincerity? What, 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 what is it? You know, kindness, amazingness, railroadness. There's so much that goes into it. I'm so excited to meet the Great Diesel this year. Oh, well, let's, let's meet him. I know. But I guess in the meantime, we should talk about some of this other stuff here. And we have some really cool things here at Yankee Dabbler, like these ACF two bay cover hoppers. Check out these guys here from Athers. And these are really cool looking hopper cars that I have here. I have a couple of different row names for you choosing here. I particularly like the look of this Corning one here, that teal one that uh, we took a look at here, the first one. But the neat thing about these cars here is even though these are really economical cars they look really nice they glide on the rails really nicely i really enjoyed these cars here and i also had these available in single or triple packs as well now the retail value of these cars is $49.99 but we're selling them here at yankee dabbler for $39.99 if you want the multi-packs though, they retail for $124.99 and we're selling them here for $99.99. So if you're interested in getting some two-bay cover hoppers, I really enjoy these cars here and I think you need them on your rails this Halloween or any other time. So come get them at Yankee Dabbler. Hey, guess what, Engineer Hall? Hey, what's going on, Dave? Christian just invited me to his Halloween party. If he invited you to a Halloween party, it must be a mistake. Well, what if I brought a diesel? No, he's an electric guy. Well, I think these diesels are really cool. So let's check out another Athern locomotive. This is a SD40T-2, otherwise known as the Tunnel Motors. Mm -hmm. Now, these are really cool looking diesel locomotives here. That is singing in Pacific. I have the Podash Corp. Ooh, I got the Tiger Stripe with the Rio Grande. And then I have three different variations of Southern Pacific. We have here Engineer Hall. What's this paint scheme called? The Scarlet. Nope, the Black Widow. The Black Widow. Ah. What about this one? What's this one called? The Bloody Nose. The Bloody Nose, very good. And then what's the last one? The Kodachrome. Co there you go. There you two go. Two for three, not bad, all right? So these are really neat looking diesel locomotives, and they're very economical, too. As a matter of fact, the retail value of these engines is $279.99, but we got them here for $223.99. So maybe if you're not looking to spend a tremendous amount of money on the diesel locomotive, this is the way for you to go. But some of these, are, I mean, even though these are very inexpensive i really like the look of these diesel engines here let's take a look a little bit closer at the look of these engines here i love the design the paint schemes are very striking i always found these tunnel motors to be very interesting looking there especially i don't know if you got a nice zoom in on the grates there but if you look i can see you i see you that's pretty cool so these diesel engines are really neat and they all have different features for example if you take a look here i have a nice little jewel here probably a mars light here but if you take a look at the rio grande i have a beacon on top of that one i mean no two diesel locomotives here look the same let's take a look at the southerns for example if you take a look at the bloody nose look at the top there now take a look at the kodachrome there it's all of a sudden rearranged so i think that's really neat Again, a lot of the manufacturers do those road name specific detailing on these engines. Are we gonna run one? Engineer Hall, which one would you like to run? Tiger Stripe. Tiger Stripe? All right, let's get it started. All aboard. <laughs> All right, so there's a lot of neat lighting features in this engine. If you take a look here, I had the ditch lights on. I had a pulsating light right here, as well as the beacon up top. So a lot of really neat lighting features. Let's take out the bell. How about the horn? There we go.
gol. That's a really cool looking diesel locomotive. It sounds great. It maneuvers really nicely. It's again, the retail value of these engines is $279.99, but we're selling it here at Yankee Dabbler for $223.99. So all it's a deal to get on these engines. I really like the different paint schemes. So come get them for your roster today. Okay, so there's a rail yard west of here. The great diesel could go to that one. Although there's a couple in Philly, kind of where you work. I know the great diesel could visit that one too. I don't know which one is more sincere though. DJ, what the great diesel don't exist, okay? It, it, you know, it, it's just a figurative of your imagination. Okay, every year I have this problem. There's three things I've learned not to discuss. So what's the three then? Tell me. Okay, religion, politics, and the great diesel. Well, so, you definitely got the first two right. Yeah, okay. Well, whatever. Well, let's take a look at some more diesels again from Atherin. It's turned into our all Atherin show. And check out these GP9s from Atherin here. And they have a bunch of different looks here. Hey, look, Engineer Hall. It's another Kodachrome. Looks nice. And it's very nice. As a matter of fact, this is the last Southern Pacific diesel locomotive that is still painted in this paint scheme. Wow, it must have. I know. I, I would get it. I also have here the Chesapeake in Ohio. I have here a Seaboard Coastline. I have a really cool looking Milwaukee Road diesel. I have here the Great Northern. And then finally, I have here the Northern Alberta. Now, once again, just like I've been talking about with all these engines, if you look, I have subtle different detailed modifications on all of these engines here. So if I take a look at the top here, no two look exactly alike. As a matter of fact, they're all different. So this one has number boards on top. This one, I mean, the Kodakar one has a whole bunch of different lighting effects and whatnot. This is really cool looking diesel locomotives. Let's take a look at this one for a closer inspection. Now, this is part of the Athern Genesis line. So you get a little bit more detail than you would say with those SD40 T's, but you still have a really, really, really nice diesel locomotive here. I mean, these are just really great. I love the front of that engine. Do you think that's a face only a mother could love? Only a mother can love. Oh, but I love it. I think this is really cool. As a matter of fact, I think we're gonna uh, run the Kodachrome diesel locomotive and see what these GP9 sounds like. GP9 is one of my favorite diesel locomotives, so let's hear what it sounds like in action. And this comes from Steam Guy. I know, right?
Now arriving, another great diesel. Wow, that's a great sound of diesel uh, locomotive. Matter of fact, Engineer Hall said he really liked it because it's very chatty. Yes, what, very what, chatty. What does that mean, chatty? Uh, sound really to me like real realistic, and a lot of lot of noise and a lot of revving. I, I do, I do like that. noise. Noise is I, good. I do enjoy that that sound system that um, Tsunami Two has in it. It looks great. Now the retail value of these diesel locomotives is three nineteen ninety nine, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for two fifty five ninety nine. Again, it's a great diesel. It sounds awesome. You can always throw on the Engineer Hall discount, save a little bit of money. So I don't know what you're waiting for. Get some GP nines on your roster right now. I'm very excited. I mean, I'm trying to think if the great diesel is like an SD40 or maybe an SD70. I don't know. What do you think, Engineer Hall? I think you say any diesel is great. That's what I think you well, mean. Well, I know that, but I mean, I wonder what the great diesel is. I don't think there's a great diesel. I think there. Maybe it's a SD80 Mac, like these engines right here. Let's, uh, let's check these out from again from Athern Genesis, and I have here a bunch of different road names here. I have here the Conrail Quality, mm -hmm. and then I have a Prime for Grime version of the Conrail Quality. Beautiful and this one. one, actually, if you come in a little bit, what do you notice? What's it say, Engineer Hall? Some little small NS. NS, that's yeah, right. Very good. That. Then I have two versions of the CSX. I have here, which version is that called, Engineer Hall? Uh, I believe it's the Wine 2. All right. And then we have the? Dark Future. Oh. And then yeah. finally, we have an Operation Lifesaver of the Chicago and Northwestern. Now, these are really great diesel locomotives here. Let's check this out here. I mean, this engine is heavy. It's always heavy like a rock. And don't ask me how I know, because last trick or treating, that's all I got was rocks. Look at this engine, though. These are great right here. I love the undercarriage here. But the top of that looks very impressive. This is something about Conrail Blue Engineer Hall. So why don't we get this engine rolling on the rails and hear what it sounds like. You think I didn't know what you done did? See? Ah, there you go. There you go. All right, so I got the Conrail on the track. Let's turn it on. Great 
So those are awesome Santa Diesel locomotives, and they look great. I don't know what you're waiting for. The retail value of those engines is $359.99, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $287.99. On the Prime for Grime version that Connor owns, just a little bit more than that one, uh, we're selling for $295.99. So these are really great diesel locomotives. I really like all the different features and the sounds and the colors. We looked at a lot of great diesels today, so I think one of them definitely needs to be going home with you. So go get it today. Wow, we looked at a a lot of diesel locomotives today so let's check out our recap of everything that we looked at here so from Athern everything we had here these GP9s from the Athern Genesis series we had these SD80 Max. Uh, I just do want to preface this one's actually an SD80 AC for those of you who are into accuracy. We have here these SD40T-2s and of course we had these two bay cover hoppers and I also had these available in three packs as well. But of course as always if you're looking for something that we didn't showcase on today's show well you can always type in our website yankeedabler.com look in the search bar find what you're looking for so hopefully we can get it sent to you and you have a Halloween full of railroad excitement. If you're not already subscribed to Engineer Hall's channel, make sure you click that subscribe button and get caught up on everything that is happening, as well as all of our new What's Up videos. As I said, we have over a hundred of these videos, so make sure you can stay tuned and take a look at me talking about trains for hours and hours and hours. Literally hours. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to conclude our rail fan video today. We're actually going to go to an engine that Eng Engineer Hall was running right engineer hall yes you have right. yeah, yeah you got, got it right, right. Oh. so engineer hall um told me the other day that he was actually running one of the heritage engines the conrail heritage engine and where did i catch this one uh engineer hall oh you caught me coming out the falls going to uh, laurel hill from ns to uh uh, says sex territory crossing the Schuylkill River. Very cool. So it was a really neat catch, and I was very happy to see my friend here driving. Ah, uh, see, I uh, oh, he dropped the ball on that one. his locomotive. So have fun watching that. Well, now if you excuse me, I'm gonna go to the most sincere rail yard I know, put my sign up, and go get engines as far as the eye can see. I know I'm gonna pick a really sincere uh, rail yard. What do you think, Engineer Hall? Is it gonna happen? No, I don't know. Well, no. you're a non-believer. See you later.
<laughs> Guess what? The great diesel came. Where you go to, D? I went to the most sincere yard, rail yard I could find. Look what I got. Woo. Oh, I gotta get there. Where's oh, it at? Oh man, what a great day. Love it.